Happy Monday, ladybugs. I hope you guys had a good Mother's Day. And we had a really fun Mother's Day tea party this morning with our ladybugs' moms and dads. Today I'm going to read a book called How Spiders Save the Baseball Game. And we all like baseball. Some of you play baseball. And although we can't watch much baseball right now, pretty soon, hopefully, we will be able to. And we've been talking about characters like in the fairy tale stories, like Humpty Dumpty and uh, the Gingerbread Man and the Little Red Hen and the Three Billy Goat Scrub. So we know what the characters are in my spider stories, right? Our main character is Spider. There he is. And then we have his friend Fly, who's a little scared of him. His friend Ladybug, she's not scared of him at all, is she? Oh, and their teacher, Miss Quito. Got a little bit of um, kind of a fragile neck right there. There's Miss Quito. Those are our four characters for our spider story. So let's read our story for this month, How Spider Saved the Baseball Game. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to hold the pages a little bit closer after I read it. It was the first day of the baseball season. I was feeling sad. Fly didn't choose me to be on his baseball team. So I guess Fly was like the manager, the coach of the team, but he didn't pick Spider. I came to the game anyway. If I couldn't play, I could cheer. Thank goodness you're here, Spider said Fly. Ladybug and I are the only bugs who showed up. Uh-oh, you need more than two people to be able to play another team. What position can you play, asked Fly. We have lots of openings. Try me, I said. Oh, Fly, uh, Spider's such a good friend to Fly even though sometimes fly is not very nice to him. Well, I couldn't catch fly balls. I couldn't catch ground balls. I was a slow runner and I couldn't hit. Well, kind of leaves a lot of things out right there, doesn't it? But maybe you can do something. We'll find out. You can't hit, field, or catch, said fly. You'll be the pitcher, I'll catch, and Ladybug will play first base. Since we have no infield or outfield, you'll have to pitch a no-hitter. Well, that's a very tricky thing to do. Do you think my friend Spider can do it? Hand me the ball, I said. I took a few warm-up tosses to see if I had my stuff. Hey, I had my stuff. The old Spider ball was still working. So he's the one who's going, he's the pitcher, he's going to be throwing the ball to the person who has the bat. Person who has the bat, they're trying to get the get a, a hit, right? They're trying to hit the ball. The bed bug all-stars took the field. Oh, do you think they're a little outnumbered? There's only Ladybug and Spider and Fly on that team. Only three players. And look at the bed bugs. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. They look a little scary. What a great team they had. Babe Bedbug, Reggie Bedbug, Mookie Bedbug, all slugger bugs. They look like they can really hit the ball, don't they? Mayor Bug threw out the first ball. Play ball, yelled Miss Quito. She was the umpire. And you see their teacher, their teacher's at the baseball game too. And she's got this thing, this protective piece right here because she's going to be like around the home plate and they don't want her to get hit by the ball. So she wears this special kind of thing right there. Oh, she has a long nose, doesn't she? 
just like mosquitoes do. Babe Bedbug, the home run king, was first up. Boo, booed fly. Be a good sport, said Ladybug. I will be, I said, as long as I win. That fly, he doesn't have a lot of patience, does he? But Babe was no match for my spider ball. He fanned on three straight pitches. I set the side down. One, two, three. Oh, he got Babe Bedbug. He struck him out. And that's a good thing because you don't want the other side to get any points, do you? So Spider was, he was a good pitcher. The Bedbug pitcher was Bobby Bedbug. He was throwing fastballs at 100 miles an hour. Oh, and there he goes. Oh, and who's, who has the bat now? Oh, that fly. Do you think Fly can do something? Fly, Ladybug, and I all struck out. Ooh, it was a pitcher's duel. So that means that nobody, uh, nobody got any hits. They weren't able to hit the ball to get a point. Scoreless inning followed scoreless inning. The game was getting so boring some fans were leaving or falling asleep. Oh, well, when you go to a baseball game, you kind of like to have a lot of action. You like to have a lot of people hitting the ball and, and it kind of makes it exciting. And look at that one of those caterpillar bugs is fast asleep there. When you don't have a lot of points on either side, it's not as exciting. It was inning eight. The score was Bed Bug zero, Fly Guy zero. Babe Bed Bug popped up, but thank goodness Ladybug caught it. Oh, good job, Ladybug. She caught that ball, didn't she? It was the top of the ninth inning. I was getting tired. Throwing spider balls isn't easy. I knew I could not go on much longer. Playing baseball can be very uh, tiring. And being a pitcher, throwing that ball the whole time, your arm gets kind of tired. I think, I think Spider's arm was getting a little tired. I came to bat in the bottom of the ninth. The score was still zero to zero. One run would hit it. What a spot to be in. And me, a zero-zero hitter, which means that he hasn't gotten he hasn't gotten a lot of hits in his life. Oh, do you think, do you think Spider can make, can he make a point? Can he hit the ball? The fans went wild. I just had to come through. Rapid Robert, the pitcher, fired one in. And there he goes. Do you think Spider's going to hit that one? I hope he does. I hope he hits it. Miss Quito is the umpire. See, she's right behind the home plate. Come on, spider, go. I struck for the fences and I missed. Oh, strike one, yelled Miss Quito. So that means he did not get a point. He did not get a point for that one. He struck out. I dug in at the plate. Rapid Robert fired another one. I took a tremendous swing and I missed. Strike two, yelled Miss Quito. Oh, he's got to, he's just got to hit that ball so he can get a point for his team. Come on, you can do it, Spider. I believe in you. Do your thing, Spider yelled Fly, coaching from the sidelines. Rapid Robert fired the ball in. I did my thing. I got hit by the ball. Take your base, yelled Miss Quino. Oh, and look at, there's, there's Fly. He's saying, come on, come on, you can do it. But he got, when you get hit by the ball in baseball, then you automatically get to go to the first base. So doesn't, it's not good to get hit, but it does get you on the bases. And here is Spider on first base, right there. So he was here at home plate, and because he got hit by the ball, 
he goes to first base. Then he's got to run to second base, to third base, and then he's got to run all the way back to home plate in order to get the point. All right, do you think he can do it? I was standing on first base, but it was still a long way to home plate. Oh, and look who's up next at bat. Is that our friend? Is that our friend Fly? Oh, I hope Fly can help Spider run those bases and get back to home plate so that he can get the point. Fly was batting. He was supposed to hit. I was supposed to run. He missed. Oh, but I ran anyway. And you can you can do that. They call stealing a base. You can do that. And even though somebody didn't hit it, if the if if the ball is if the ball is around somewhere else, you can try to go to the next base. Yogi Bedbug, the catcher, threw the ball to second base. It went over the second base bug's head. Oh, look at he tried to catch it, but he didn't quite make it. Wow. Come on, spider. I rounded second base. I ran at top speed to third base. The center fielder juggled the ball. I was heading for home. Oh, look at how close he is here. Right there. He's so close. All he has to do is run just to there. Oh, Fly is so excited too. Can he do it? Can he run to home plate and get that point? Slide, Spider, slide, screamed Ladybug. As I slid into home plate, Miss Quito yelled, safe. We won, screamed Fly. Oh, so sometimes that when you're running the bases in baseball, you can kind of slide in and sometimes it gets you to the base a little bit quicker. And that's what Spider did. And guess what? He ran all around those bases and he got the point for his team. And they won. You saved the baseball game, Spider, said Ladybug. You did, said Fly. I cannot take a lie. You're not a bed bug, said Babe, but you're an all-star. I was very happy to be me. The end. Oh, so Spider did come through. He made them win the baseball game. Oh, and look at who's giving him a kiss on the cheek. Is that Ladybug? And Fly? He did a good thing. Oh, I like that book. That's one of my favorite ones. Next month, I'm going to read the Spider story, How, Flyder, How Spider Saved the Flea Circus. And that's a really funny one too. So Fly says goodbye and Spider and Miss Quido with the fragile neck. And of course, Ladybugs. Okay, Ladybugs, hope you have a great afternoon. The weather is kind of a little windy and kind of maybe nice to go outside and run around in the wind, okay? I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.